in this lesson we want to extend our example which we built in the previous lesson. So um, we have our master and our slave here and what we want to do is we copy the slave a few times just by holding down control or command on a Mac and slide it to the left and then we have our copies here. I'll put the master at the top and we have right now five slaves. So I will um, select them all and um, group them just with Alt G. I will group them and call this group slaves. So we need to change our setup here because uh, with this setup we only controlled one slave but now we want to control them all. So maybe let's just remove this connection here. And let me think how we can do this. So in Expresso we have something called iterators. An iterator is a node that can output uh, a lot of objects at once. So in every single frame he will output a given list of objects uh, one by one but all of them in the same frame. So we have our objects here in a hierarchy. So in, in this null object in this null object group together. So we will use a node called hierarchy which is an iterator and we will use the object index. Okay, let's first of all take a look at the hierarchy node. If we click it we see the parameters again. We want uh, At first we want to change the reference mode to absolute reference and drag in the slaves null object. So for this iteration we tell him where he should start with, uh, uh, with the iteration and this is our null object slaves because all our objects are in here. Then we have the start path and the iteration path. The start path is an action um, which the iterator will perform once and the iteration path he will uh, perform um, as long as he finds uh, the next um, an object in the hierarchy, so from here to here. So let's click on the hierarchy again. So start path D means down, which means he will start here at this hierarchy level and he will go one level down into the hierarchy, which is something like this. So he will open it up and jump to the first object, one level down. After that, Let's bring back our hierarchy node. After that he will perform the iteration path action which is N. This uh, stands for next. So he will go to the next and to the next and to the next and to the next until he's at the end of our hierarchy. Then he will stop and go to the next frame and then he will do um, these actions again. So it, he will give us all of our um, slaves here one by one but all of them in the same frame which is very good. We also have the object index node and this object index node will give us some information about our hierarchy. So we connect it here. Come on, yeah. So the hierarchy is connected to the object index and now here we will um, get the object that he is outputting right now and the index number of our object. So all of those objects are numbered with an index number and it starts with zero. So this one is uh, object 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need to take our instance and place it here at the end of our of our um, Expresso tree. For this we need something like a container. So we can just, if I remove this one, we can just take the first one. It doesn't matter which one you take. Create an input port for object. And if you now connect instance to object the hierarchy node will go through all these objects here one by one and uh, replace this node with um, every single one uh, of these objects one by one. So he will do this in every single frame. So you won't see that something changes here but internally he will change this node um, in every frame with uh, every single of these objects. So this is something like our container. So if we now place this one at the end and create an input port, 
This time we should ch uh, we shouldn't take the normal position, but the global position. We do this because our objects are grouped under a null object, and if you take the local position, um, all these positions will refer to the parent object, but we want the global position in this case. So let's do this. Connect it and take a look at our scene. So as you can see here, all our objects snapped at the same position. So a part is working right now, but that not, that's not exactly what we want, because when I move it around,